The HTC U11 Plus is a phone that you've probably never heard of. It's not officially sold in the United States, but it's actually HTC's best phone to date. The first with a 2x1 edge to edge screen. My name is Vic Christoph with Phone Arena and this is our review of the HTC U11 Plus. So let's get started. I've been using this phone for a few days now and there are a few things that stand out about it. First is the shiny attractive design. This phone looks great, but it's not very practical because it has this gloss, glossy glass back. It attracts fingerprints extremely easily. And as you can see right here, it's already all smudged with fingerprints and doesn't look great at all. If it's clean, it looks good. And HC even includes a cleaning cloth in the box. Now you know why. So in terms of looks, we give it an A+, but in terms of practicality, it's not all that practical. This phone is also quite hefty. It packs a quite a bit of weight. It feels solidly put together, solidly built. But it's a bit on the heavy side and a bit bulkier than most other phones in this class. When it comes to the fingerprint scanner on the U11 Plus, it's on the back in a very natural, easy to reach position, so you have no worries reaching it. But when it comes to the actual speed of use, it's not the fastest. The HTC U11 Plus comes with a 6 inch 2x1 LCD display. HTC calls this Super LCD 6, which basically means it's the latest generation of its LCD screens, and it looks pretty good in terms of color reproduction and there's one thing about this display though. First of all, it doesn't have those deep blacks and the nice contrast that come with AMOLED screens. But second of all, it's a bit on the dim side. And when you take it outside on a bright sunny day, it's hard to see what's on the screen. So brightness is definitely on the low side for such a screen. You have two different color modes to pick from. You have DCI-P3, which is the default one. It might sound complicated. It just means that you have wider colors, more lively color, and this is the one we recommend. And you can, you can also select the sRGB color mode, which has a little bit more toned down colors. Now, when it comes to the interface of the HTC U11 Plus, we have HTC Sense on top of Android 8.0 Oreo. Now, HTC Sense is a mixed bag. First of all, it's practical, it's fast, it doesn't have animations, which makes it feel even faster. And it's very, very zippy in terms of daily operation. But when it comes to its looks, it's not ideal. Many of the apps look just the same as they looked on HTC Sense years, maybe five years ago or so. so this definitely comes in contrast with the much more modern uh, Android material design language and things like that. You, here you also have something that HTC calls the HTC Sense Companion, which is, which is supposed to be a smart AI assistant that gives you relevant information automatically without you asking the phone for it. In reality, it's mostly useless. Uh, I haven't found a single good use for it. It shows you the weather, it shows you how many steps you've taken uh, on a particular day, how many calories you've burned, things like that. But you can already do this with other apps and they do it better. So it's not the groundbreaking feature that you expect it to be. There's one cool thing in the HTC U11 Plus and this is the edge squeeze functionality. You can just squeeze the phone and it can do certain things. By default, squeezing the phone launches the camera. And if you squeeze it once again, you can start taking either a video or a picture, which is really useful. It doesn't sound that good, but it's very easy to do. And there is a slight delay between the moment you squeeze the phone and the taking of the picture, so you don't get a blurry picture. So everything is very well thought out. You can also customize it to start the Google Assistant or some other app that you prefer, and it works very well. In terms of performance, this phone has uh, the flagship grade Snapdragon 835 system chip, which works well. It's zippy and it's built on the latest technology, so the phone is future proof. And best of all, you also have 128 gigabytes of storage, onboard storage on this phone, which is plentiful and double the 64 gigabytes that are commonly seen. We like this a lot because with modern phones, you just uh, store a lot of photos, a lot of videos, and those gigabytes really quickly fill up and then you have to buy a micro SD card or then you have to free up storage which is always uh, a bit of a chore so with 128 gigabytes of storage this is definitely one phone that will uh, keep you more liberated in terms of uh, how many photos how many videos you store on your phone so this is one great thing and then there is the camera on the back here we have a single camera no dual camera features 
no portrait mode, just a single 12 megapixel camera. This camera is identical to the one on the HTC U11, which means that it's quite great actually. Good news is that this camera performs well both during the day and at night. It takes very sharp, very good looking pictures with nice color to them. Video is recording up to 4K resolution, 30 frames per second. It looks great, autofocusing speed is fast enough. Overall great camera. If you look in the details very, very closely, closely you will notice that uh, towards the edges sharpness is not that great but in the center is very good and there's a bit more noise than on the average camera here in this class and especially noticeable in the sky but overall a great camera. Now the other thing about the HCU 11 Plus is sound quality. HTC with its boom sound technology was really ahead of its time back in the day and the HCU 11 Plus also has great sound quality. First you have the loudspeaker which consists of two parts. You have the top part which is com sound comes from the earpiece and you have the bottom part that acts a bit like a subwoofer with more uh, lower tonalities and the two work together and produce very loud and very good sound especially considering that it's just a smartphone this sound is very loud and has some depth to it even some bass so definitely worth checking out and you don't have an audio jack here you don't have a headphone jack so only USB-C the phone comes with a set of earbuds in the box that connect via USB-C and has some noise cancellation features they, they are pretty good for the price and you also have a dongle that uh, allows you to connect traditional 3.5 millimeter headphones via this dongle to the to the phone itself uh, next we have battery life this phone has a nearly 4000 milliamp hour battery which is plentiful and sounds like it should be a battery champ well it's not and this is what we, we, we've come to see after using the phone for a while. Uh, standby time is not great so it drains battery pretty quickly and overall you won't have a problem getting through a day of use just as on any other phone but if you were expecting to get two days you're not even close even day and a half would be a bit of a stretch with this phone in terms of charging speeds you get a quick charger in the box it takes around two hours to fully charge up the phone from zero to hundred percent which is about uh, slightly slower than on other phones but still fast enough for our taste okay it's time to talk price and alternatives at 800 euro this phone is pricey it is right in flagship pricing along with phones like the LG V30 Samsung Galaxy Note 8 it's more expensive than the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus and other rivals include the Google Pixel 2 OnePlus 5T which is much more affordable Nokia 8 is also more affordable but both of these phones have the same chip and this phone feels a bit overpriced for what it offers it is a solid performer where it counts but if you look at extra features at waterproofing which this phone does have but if you look at uh, wireless charging if you look at portrait mode other fancy features an AMOLED display this phone lacks all that technology so it seems a little bit overpriced so that's it guys a quick review of the HCU 11 plus let me know if you like this phone let me know what else you want to see us review and I will catch you in the next one